Hey friends, it's Gun Gaming here, and I wanted to answer two questions slash comments that I got in comments over YouTube. Obviously, that's what I'm doing this week. Uh, I really enjoy doing this. I, I, it's one of my favorite parts about interacting with this community. There are a ton of really, really good content creators that cover patch notes more quickly than I do and in much more depth. They have way more time because it's literally what they do for their day job. Uh, honestly, go watch them. They're good people. Go sub them. They're good people. Um, even when I disagree with them strongly on certain issues, especially insofar as free-to-play experience goes, they're totally worth watching. I watch them all the time. Uh, anyway, let's jump into it. Two questions. Number one, well, first one is uh, a question. Second one's more of a comment. From Jay Stevo, is there a way to farm certain armor sets? I have an Iron Man and want the full Mark I set. And then the second one is Jeffrey Kazuma, you cannot get Megardia on Spec Ops. So I misspoke in my video, I knew this. Uh, I just, for whatever reason, I blank sometimes while I'm in the middle of recording a video. Uh, and the reward is only for Xanderth, Hydra, and Sakar. You cannot get Midgardia or New Stark City from the Spec Ops. There are only currently three different Spec Ops. I really hope that number changes. And I would really strongly prefer if you could choose which one it was. But I digress. Um, note that like the, the scores that you get from each of them are pretty equal. They've actually done a really good job of that. I just want to take like a, a side note to say that like if you play with somebody who is uh, helping you get top score, um, which I don't do, we usually compete for whoever gets it and there's some uh, inside jokes about who takes all the red crystals. Um, here's looking at you, skeleton fish. Um, anyway, uh, but if you are, uh, if you are working together, you get pretty equal scores. Like if I get number one and in a competitive, uh, uh, spec ops, I usually get around, uh, 1.2 to 2.1 million kind of depends on just, uh, how well everyone else did. And if we do it without anybody dying, etc. Uh, so note that. So anyway, you can farm only the regional sets and when i say farm i mean you can think about farming them so i want to just tell you i've played this game in soft launch i did take a two-week break to go on vacation like a real human uh which was really nice first time i saw my family since the pandemic started in person uh anyway total digression but other than that i've played every day since the second day the game has been available for public use uh, since soft launch and I have as of yet uh, I have not pulled a single uh, regional piece so you see here I just I keep this Midgardia helmet in here because I am nominally farming Midgardia pieces I will never get them from spec ops but you do have a chance every day uh, so note that this is Hydra today. You get a one to three star. It just says Hydra Empire costumes included. No one knows what that drop rate is. And I know a lot of people are asking for changes to the game. I just want some transparency. This is a big thing I think we should be calling for. Played other games like uh, uh, Marvel Strike Force uh, where they are incredibly transparent about drop rates of certain items in certain things. And I think especially... You know, the game right now is really clear about drop rates when you have uh, a purchased item from the store. The And I think that this is legally required, I think, in the EU, uh, if I'm correct. But you can come in here and see, you know, these all have boosted drop rates. Boosted. Um, and so they, you know, they, they are something of note. Note that these are trap expert and espionage devices, so if you like doing the... I think a lot of like Magaluma is really uh, really leans on the the throw one where like it sends out all the the blue stuff in front of you. I really still like the one that's 360 degrees. I find it's better for ad clear. Um, I hate having to like angle my character correctly. I just like being able to do the dash, get in the middle, drop my traps. Uh, I find that much more effective. Anyway, I digress. Point being that you can try to farm these when they're in boosted drop rates. Uh, but you still have like a 0.2% chance when you add it all up it ends up being like a point like a 0.3% chance of getting the specific item you want which ends up being a little bit less than 1% chance of getting just one of the pieces so you gotta pop like a hundred different uh, costume draws just to get one piece 
Uh, and then if you're trying to farm to get a whole set, good luck with that. I'm not going to run through all those stats. I think a lot of other content creators do a better job at this. So notably, you can do that that way. Uh, now, I know your question, though, uh, Jay Steva, was whether or not you could farm some of these other pieces. So I have long urged people, especially free-to-play people, to give up on regional pieces. Now, I, I have... Uh, a regional farm going on in my workshop we'll pull at the end of this video I think I'm farming like nine pieces we'll see if we get any luck there uh, I kind of doubt it but we're just gonna try nine pieces is the most I've kind of ever saved up I had to buy a whole bunch of regional pieces I've been working in Xander to get Blackwood uh, or uh, Yellow Jacket and Modoc for the, the seasonal event that was going on a couple weeks ago so I got really behind on farming Uru um, but you can't farm these specifically anywhere. You'll just get them in costume box drops. Uh, I've, I've found if you just save up all the pieces that aren't part of the set that you want, uh, you end up getting about enough to keep upgrading the ones that you want. Uh, which is a roundabout way of saying you can't farm them, but if you are just getting the random drops, you'll eventually hit those Mark One pieces, save all of the extras, and you'll be able to crunch those up to level up your Mark I pieces um, and, and get one that you really like. Again, um, I have made, I don't even know how many heads. It took me like probably 50 different heads in order to get this triple crit damage stack. Um, and it was totally worth it. Just takes a long time. Be patient. It's a grind. Uh, but it is a rewarding grind for those non-regional sets because you will be able to get a piece that you like. Uh, and a piece that you find valuable. Now, note that all said, you're going to really struggle if it's not your main and it's not the character you're logging in with every day, completing most wanted with every day. I have been leveling my Captain America on the side, and I've been trying to get the World War II set as I recommend in my uh, recommend in my recommended sets videos, uh, and it has been pretty trash. For being honest, I've only gotten two of the four pieces. Uh, and I am in, like halfway through Midgardia. So, um, you know, sometimes you just get burned, but he's also not my main. I'm not pulling my five different armor pieces from most wands on him every day. Usually those are going to my Black Widow. So just be patient. Hang in there. You'll get them. Long answer to your question. Woo! Okay. Uh, now let's round this out with trying to get some Midgardia pieces for my Black Widow. Uh, oh, looks like I have 14 actually. And typically I would just let this go, but we're making content here, so let's spend the money. And money became much more readily available. All right, so you'll see here, the ones that I want are the Red Widow pieces. So I got, looks like only one Red Widow piece. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Uh, but chest is something I'm trying to re-roll. So we'll take it. And, you know, if I'm trying to do one piece, I'll come down here and I'll walk you guys through this process as well. We come down to the costume shop, costume augmenter. I'll look for those Red Widow pieces. You want to check and see what they look like. And then I always make sure to grind up pieces that are from the other sets that I don't care about. None of those are the Red Widow piece. And if you're wondering what they look like, just go to your... Um, Go to your collections, oh, costumes, make sure you look at, you're look. you looking at the one that you care about. And for me, that is the Red Widow set, which I still need the gun and the boots from this one to complete all of them. But anyway, that's, a, that's an aside. Uh, but I know that the hair looks like this uh, kind of crop shorn look, uh, the sleeveless arm on the right arm. And then the gun has like a widow symbol on it. And the boots have like these weird like uh, 70s pump style flare on the, on the, on the uh, soles. So anyway, so I, I already know what those look like. So uh, because I've done it a million times, you'll get it baked into your brain knowing which ones you're trying to farm. Uh, and you can start focusing on those. So we'll crunch this up, see what we get. Uh, looks like attack, so this is going straight to the meat grinder. Uh, attack is not a great set for armor pieces in my experience. The base stat is so low that you have to have like a crit rate of 10% for crit damage to not be better. Now if you are over capped at 300% for your character, then, a, then another stat would be to just go for a crit rate. Um, 
And if you're building like Captain America, you can go for guard damage. But I, I just find that the alpha stat of attack on armor is not all that great. So lots of comments and thoughts from me on how you can farm armor. I wish that there was a better way to farm certain sets. Uh, I do think that that's helpful feedback that we can provide to the devs. Jay Stevo. Uh, and I think it would give people a better sense of control over uh, costume farming. Which otherwise right now feels really, really grindy with no hope in sight for free-to-play players. Um, and I, I really wish they would just disclose the stats of what the drop rates are like from actually farming uh, on these um, on these workshop pieces. Uh, again, I've been farming these almost every day. Um, I have used all sim particles for Uru for over a month and a half. And I have yet to pull a single piece, even a second helmet. I've yet to pull anything at all. Um, Feels bad, man. Here, we'll try one more. This will be a sample size of 16. No such luck is what it is. Um, anyway, just, just keep your expectations in check. Give up on regional sets and you'll have a lot more fun, I think. Until next time, though, friends, have some fun. Get out there and keep on gaming. Bye for now.